distinguished guests and uh, our participants. Uh, it's very pleasure for me being here. And in, I'm Kabriz Jafarov from Azerbaijan. At the moment, I'm living in the Turkey for my master's degree. And I have a speech about the role of the youth uh, with creating and for creating cultural relations in the conflict zones. And I want to speak not much more longer because of the, all the speaker uh, in this conference and told them about, spoke about the, this, about these topics and this, this title. And uh, I want to say that this conference and all these conferences is very important and is very useful for our for our goals, for our main tools, and for our future. Because of this conference, is a great chance to create great relations between the countries, between the peoples, between the other uh, other other communities. And in my opinion, we have to improve. We have to enhance our our actions towards to to, to this nation. And. Uh, and, and this conference makes us to enhance our, 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 uh, our goals and our actions about this, uh, about this topic. And we have topic that is very important because of the, we have to try to get any chance, we have to try to settle all the conflict, uh, all the conflicts, all the problems around the world. And it's very interesting for that what, what, and how can I settle all the problems in the conflict zones? And uh, we have topics with the part of three, three tools, three title of the topic that conflict zones, use, and actions. And in my opinion, you have an information the conflict zones, and conflict zones uh, at the moment there are a lot of conflict zones in the around the world, uh, and and I I I I'm, uh, I, I have. Uh, investigate a lot of the information. I have inge investigated them, and for example, we have a lot of experiences in this topic. For example, the the, the nowadays crime zones, crime conflict zones, and the other conflict zones, and and uh, Nagorno-Karabakh conflicts, and that other, and and that the, 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 there is a lot of. And the base thing, and the base goal. How can I settle this problem? How can I settle and and the role of the what's the role of the youth? Uh, to settle these problems. In my opinion, uh, the best thing is this topic, the best thing to settling all of these problems is education. And in my opinion, and I think that we have to uh, enhance our experiences, our actions to educational uh, system. And in my opinion, I think that uh, educa educated uh, students, educated youngsters, uh, can can settle can settle and can can have a much more chance to settle all these uh, conflict zones problems, you know, and uh, and we have a lot of experiences uh, also in Turkey. At the moment, I'm living in Turkey, but uh, as you know, that the uh, Near East have the problem, the Syrian problem and other problem, and a lot of the migrants have in the Turkey. There are a lot of migrants in the Turkey. And uh, I have a lot of chance to speak with the Syrian migrants, and they told that they spoke about the the the, the 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 problem of the Syrian, and they also wanted to settle the problem of their country because of they wanted to come back their country. But at the moment of the world, it is it is it's impossible, and and it, and and for these suburbs for these reasons. They, they cannot come back to their countries. And at the moment, uh, in Turkey, we have a lot of actions and we have a lot of goals to settle of this, of, to settle and uh, to have, to have any, any actions to settle these problems. And, and uh, in my opinion, at this moment of the world, the, 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 the use role of the settling these problems uh, have to be many, many great and many, many a lot. Because of the, because of the, because of the use and is our is our future, and in my opinion, use uh, can be 
can be can be the main tool to settle all the all of these problems, you know, and and uh, at, at at the same time, uh, in my point of view, uh, we and all of the people, all of the youngsters around the world, have to try to enhance their actions towards to towards to to create cultural relations with the other communities, with the other peoples of the universities, of the... Uh, it's, not, it don't, it's not different that master, doctoral and, and bachelor degree, it's not different. And in my opinion, the best thing is, is to create cultural relations, cultural communities, communications. And, and uh, all of these, um, and... Uh, you have no, you have any information about the conflict zones, and and I I'm, I'm speak and I, I have told about the youth system and I have a main goal, I have main tool in my opinion. I think that the educational system and educated. Uh, for example, for example, the the, the former secret, uh, secretary general of the UN, Kofi Annan, uh, told the uh, no one no one was born as a good person. No one was uh, was born as a as a good citizen, and and uh, and this process require times and education, because time is very important and education is very important, and uh, at this moment of the world, uh, the main goal, the main thing, the best thing is 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 to to get an education to get any information about the world, to enhance cultural relations, to, to accept other, other thoughts, other um, ideas, other, um, other cultural, cultural, cultural experiences. And that's all uh, I, I think that uh, this conference will have great chance for us to improve our relations, to, to get a lot of friends from all around the world and uh, I hope that this will be useful, this will be important for our uh, goals, for our future and for our plans. Thank you very much. Yeah, social media. Because uh, especially kids these days, they're just constantly on social media, and all that is being fed into their brains, and like all that influence. And um, in a way, I, I guess it can have a positive or a negative impact. But they are being exposed to so many ideas and different cultures just through social media. So I think that's also a very key, important tool that maybe schools should start integrating. With, you know, start using those um, in education as well. Yeah. And I agree with you. Absolutely, the social media at the moment of the world is very important for communications, for the, for the getting information, and also special for the kids. You know, and at the moment and now, uh, in my opinion, we have to care about the social media that is very important for our generations, for our relations, for our communications. And uh, and in my point of view, we have to. Enhance. We have to increase our actions on the social media for for being for for creating peaceful peace peaceful situation uh, in the world and for for sharing peaceful thoughts peaceful ideas uh, to other peoples. I agree with you, Absolut. Please. Yeah, okay. um, I'm Michael Bruno. I'm from Turkey, and um, I think. Uh, you delivering on this uh, mandate um, as a public law student. Yeah, public. I'm a public law student, okay. master degree student. I'm a lawyer. Um, I am in a development field, so I'm a development entrepreneur. And having worked in the field for quite a number of years now, or 15 years now, I see human rights violations 
taking a center stage in our development discourse across all the fields. Now, as a law, the student, the law background, uh, this marginalization, economic marginalization, social marginalization, in fact, you can think of, are really uh, taking a stage in a development discourse. So, in your own opinion, at the community level or at the uh, sorry, at the national level, not at the international level, before we, we come to the international level. What is your opinion or your take in this? And what do you think are the remedies to address some of these uh, uh, violations? At the community level, at the, at the regional level, at the national level. Uh, what role can we play, particularly with the youth, because your focus has been on the youth? Uh, as a generational tool to address yeah. some of these yeah. issues. What yeah. is your take in this? Yeah, I, I, okay, uh, I have answer, but uh, in my opinion, uh, at the moment, uh, at the moment of the world, know this, we have a lot of international norms. Yes. And you know, UN resolutions, UN conventions, the, the, the different topics, for example, human rights and other things. But implementation that, 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 that two days ago, I said, I spoke about this problem, that implementation is very problem. It's very problem, national and international uh, sites. Uh, and and uh, some states have, have not implementing international law rules, international norm rules, and, and, and some, of the, some of the international resolutions we have not implementing, not implementing. For example, for example, uh, there are a lot of resolutions. For example, uh, there, there, there are a lot of resolutions we have that that uh, is not implementing that that have some uh, resolutions is is implementing. And the best thing is the best thing is we 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 can accept all the international norms and we can accept we can we can regulate our community with the with the with the uh, main principles of the international laws and the laws neutral law you know and but i agree with you i agree with you absolutely that that at the moment the the part of the some part of the world have have violation of the rules have violation of the human rights and uh, all the international community and all the international organizations have not any chance to to react this process and reality react you know and uh, the international organizations said that 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 is uh, that speech and other things but what real implementing is not for example syrian problem and and uh, i have i have meet uh, with the syrian migrants and i have a question a lot of to them that what is your main goal what did you want and this situation what is and they said that i have democracy they said that they have they, 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 they wanted democracy but not not like this democracy and at the moment sir that i have not speak i have not speak and we can't speak about the roles of the uh, international international uh, laws in the Syria. There is there is no chance. There is no possible uh, possible situation in the Syria that that we can speak in the international law norms rules. That's that's all. And uh, you, so thank you. Are you talking about you were speaking to the refugees in Syria that they don't want the democracy that is there? They want they democracy. The they want democracy. They don't want. They didn't want like this democracy. And this is not democracy. And uh, yeah, the in Syria situation is the in the Syria is very bad. And the, not only democracy, absolutely there is no state, there is no community. Yeah, question. My name is Jose, uh, faculty with Arizona State University. Uh, yeah. Uh, the question I have for you is: uh, So do you think uh, in uh, Turkey, you know, people coming from Syria? Uh, and uh, the community in Turkey, uh, that, uh, I mean, there are issues with integration. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if Turkey will join the European Union. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what is your opinion on that uh, discrepancy, looking at the European Union level, uh, at political level and as a youth? Uh, how do you think people are prepared to you? And how, from a cultural uh, diplomacy perspective, 
How do you think you play a role in that game? Okay, I know, but uh, I'm following the process of the Turkey to European Union and uh, I'm living in the Turkey and I absolutely said that we, we, I absolutely can say that the uh, Turkish people want to, to join the European Union but this is not main goal this is not main goal they want it but this is not, this is not main goal they, they can be or not it can be or not be you know and Syrian migrants in the Turkey in my opinion we have the the, the, the uh, and information that three million three million migrants in in Turkey Syrian migrants and uh, in, I think that you have an information about that some of these migrants try to go to the European Union but some of the European Union states refused all of the uh, all of the migrants and they cancelled the migrants problems uh, that that we have in a, in a countries for example Germany Germany tried to, to accept all the migrants and needed people in in, in their country but uh, I think that migrant problem can be can be great co corruption in the in the Turkey and in my opinion we have to we have to settle this problem uh, as soon as as soon as is possible you know and and uh, that's why that's why we have to we have to uh, stop all the all the crimes all the war situation in the Syria because of their comeback because they wanted to come back, but but there is no there is no possible situation for coming back into the Syria and other migrants countries, and the situation is that. One more question or comment? Okay. I just wanted to know if you were in uh, a part of the Youth International Conference in Baku in 2015. Yeah. Were you there? Yeah. So uh, I think. Uh, there was a lot of discussions that uh, in many countries we do believe that there are a lot of tremendous work has been done by the government. Yeah. Uh, for the youth, they have policies, they have procedures, and there are a lot of good action plans, and they are implementing that. But in Azerbaijan, there was no action plan for uh, the youth policy implementation. The same thing happens in some of the other countries. So I think there were some commitments. Uh, that they will develop a, a policy and also an action plan. Have that taken place? Yeah, at the moment of the Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan the, has in, independent in, uh, in 1991 and collapse of Soviet Union, you know. And uh, like the other 1991. Yeah, and uh, some some the, like the other countries, Azerbaijan is trying to improve their policy for the for the different topics uh, and uh, non-governmental organizations and public sector law system and other things. I, in my opinion, this process requires a lot of time, and uh, I think that we have uh, to. Uh, improve our goals to the to the international laws to the international to, to the principles of the international law. For example, Azerbaijan is the member of the Council of the Europe, and Azerbaijan is the member of UN and other international organizations, Islamic uh, Islamic organizations, and other things. But at the moment, we have any problem like these other countries. Uh, and and uh, in my opinion, for this process. We have to we have to enhance and we we have to be we have to be much more strong for this problem and uh, for settling this problem and uh, and and uh, in my opinion you have any information about that uh, that there are a lot of uh, international organizations uh, uh, represent represents uh, in the Azerbaijan and there are a lot of international conferences. We have we have organized organized in Azerbaijan, Baku, and other things. At the moment, I wanted to say that we have information that Ganja, the other city of the Azerbaijan, is the capital of Europe, and that's that's the situation that is. And in my opinion, uh, we have to settle some problems we have. Thank you very much. Okay, let's express our gratitude. Thank you. Very much. And please join. I want to. I want